All right, guys, finally time to be putting this last section of truss, which starts with this behemoth of a girder truss, three ply, 45 foot long, eight and a half foot tall, and 2,300 pounds, but we got the Magni, I got the remote control. Let's go ahead and let's get it up in the air. Okay. All right, before we get ahead of ourselves and fly this big girder up in the air, which I really wanna do, I wanted to make sure we took time to lay out all of our truss locations on the top of it, where those are gonna land. And I thought about doing the floor joist, but that's just, that's too far ahead, you know, where we're gonna attach all these floor joists. We've got a column and we've got a, a shed dormer roof line that starts at six foot edge from our, uh, our current post. And I just wanted to double check. We're doing a two foot truss system here. We're a little bit weird. We don't have an exact even footage building here. So we got a little bit of a weird layout in a sense that it'll work on one side of our roof line with the dormer, the other side is gonna have some weird framing. It's not gonna be two foot on center everywhere. Greg, you wanna hold me on this guy right here and I'll finish this two foot on center layout. And then I think we'll be able to throw this and then hopefully it'll make sense as we install this. You guys will see what I'm talking about. I always try to make sure that my sheathing is as efficient as possible. So I'm doing as little waste as possible while also trying to be you know, sensible and uh, efficient just in the install itself. That right there is our last truss. There'll be an odd bay on the shed dormer. And then when we're coming back this way, we need to do the same thing that we did on that side. Yep, so here's my truss on the side of my post, which will create the wall of my, we'll have to add a laminate to this guy here, cause I'm right. not gonna put another truss right next to it. And then we'll be two foot center out into our overhang, which should be a two foot overhang. Okay, let's get this marked up and let's fly this sucker. All right, time's come to finally fly this thing. We got everything hooked up. We got everything laid out. Magni is fired up. 2,300 pound girder truss. I did go ahead and run the boom out to the location that I think it's gonna be in just to check the load chart. And I think we're still plenty of uh, capacity on this bad boy, so we should be good. It's a, it's a beefy girl. All right, Greg. That's four out of five bars though. <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad that I'm here, not sitting in the seat of that thing, because I would be so nervous. I'd be looking up at that thing, having all sorts of vertigo. I'm dropping her down, Greg. Can you bring it this way some? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Uh, I'm on the, you're on the girdle over there. There you go. We're gonna have to kind of get it in at an angle, Greg, and then like, I need to get it below those purlins, and I'm now- oh, I think I'm on that girt right now. I, you are, you are. So let me do. <laughs> Just, uh, there. Pull down, pull, yeah, pull down, down. We'll, we'll rock that out that way. Pull down to get off of there. Cause, cause I'm, I'm eight to 10 inches above. All right, we got it close, but now we got to just shimmy it because it's the exact dimension of our building. It is going to be very snug in there. As you can see, Greg is trying his hardest to push in. Are you on it? Yeah, I'm good now. Oh, well then I'm going to go ahead and lean it. Start setting her down. I'll lean it down. One thing um, that you guys maybe didn't see is that we did do a, a six ply column here. So we added three plies to the existing three plies to support fully the weight of this girder. Um, and remember going way back to the concrete, we added a, an extra rebar in this location also to support all the weight of the roof, the floor in kind of the max condition. So there's a lot going on right here, but now we got this placed. I think we can turn the Magni off and get it secured so we can go to the next step. Okay, well, 
now that we got this here, we need to get it tightened up and then fastened. We're, and eventually we're gonna throw half inch through bolts all the way up this column and we're gonna marry this thing together. But for now, for now we're just gonna get it as close as possible. That's not gonna go super far. It'll get about all the way through that fourth ply. I'm just gonna hand drive some 60s to hold it from both sides and that'll get it kind of tied together for now and then we'll really suck it together with the through bolts. I better go up to the top. Let's do that. Kind of realizing that this, this wall needs to be like as close to perfect plumb as possible because once we fasten this big girder truss to these columns, which is almost, almost half the height, we're not gonna be able to kind of manipulate it later down the road when we try to straighten things for sheathing. So we want this as close as possible right now. Holy cow, there's a nice swale in that bottom cord too, Greg. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yep, so basically that's- Now do you want to set a nail in here? Kind of keep it? No, nah, I think, give me a- uh, Screw? Come over here, yeah, yeah, give me a screw. I'll be able to just push this right in, dude. Oh, what kind of screw? Give me that six incher, six and three quarters, or? It's probably not gonna make anything. The gusset plates in the mm. way. You want me to try to send it through on this no, side? No, 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 I'd rather, I'd rather have the option of maybe hitting one. Can I just see it real quick, see what the depth is? Yeah, so it's gonna have to go through two. Three. Technically. Huh? Three technically. Yeah. Just pray I don't hit a gust. Well, I hit a gusset. What? Probably need that other drill. We're gonna go in again with this guy. How far is this gonna pop out? Uh two inches. Okay. Good. That's what I wanted. Well. Jeez. Looks like we could go a hair more. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. If I can get locked in here. Oh boy. You just moved the crap out of that I thing, or I did. I, it might have been me, actually. No, I got more leverage. I feel like that was me. Mm, it's bouncing between 90 and 89.95. So it's pretty much good. I'm trying to get myself a starting oh, point. Yeah, not a starting point. All right, so there this this ply right here was not lined up as good as it should be. So what we did was just notch it out. We're gonna notch it out at these girt locations to hopefully bring it back. But Greg, we got a lot of dust in there. I know you got a good blower on you. Go ahead and blow some of that out of there, buddy. See, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew you had it in you. <laughs> That's so messed up. So let me uh, let me grab this. Yeah, I don't know if that was even necessary. It wasn't. It looked like it was, but now that I see it, now that I it's, see it down here. It's like this is curved out. So I think when it sucks in, though, Greg, it will be necessary. I think when if this sucks in, it's going to have helped us. So uh, I'm gonna make a pilot hole so we don't ruin our our screws. That bit eats. So how far far I get? Uh, you, you'll miss this. I need one more I'll hit then? Yeah. I'm just hoping this kind of sucks it all together. I hope it does too. All right, buddy. Go ahead and, ready? Mm-hmm. Saw that coming. Yeah. Too much torque. <laughs> <laughs> it never really sucked in. No. Don't, we wanna, so we wanna. just gonna back it out and then go back in until you get like a running start. No, I was going to get a, a whole new, uh, run a through bolt through it so it's, we can. Oh. The, other, the other issue is like we're tight back here mm -hmm. and it's rotated out this way. Yeah. So we're actually stressing all of the gusset plate 
metal fingers that go into the wood. We're asking it to literally stretch it. All right, so let's just go ahead. If it breaks, it breaks. Uh, you wanna try a through bolt? I think we do. <laughs> you are you are something else man i you got caught on the rail as i pulled it out dude i need another i need another can you get I a nut on it no it's flush okay Let's pound some 60s. She moved out of my way. That's all I want. I don't care what you do. You don't care? Nope. Okay. Watch your kneecaps. I think it moved. It did a little bit. Look at the gap over here. That's a massive gap, dude. Mm -hmm. Just don't let it slip. Easier said than done. Yes. Woo. Did it do anything? I mean, it took a lot out. Did yeah. It though? Yeah, I would say half inch. Wait, for real? No, for real. The problem is, look at these gusset plates. These gusset plates on this end, it's like it rolled the board because this is like a, a vertical board in the truss and it kind of rolled it when it went through the plate and you can see these teeth are not adhered in all the way. So we've got a nice spread on this end that we're just trying to suck as much. It's, it's supported, it's bearing, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. You smell the, you smell the it smells oil success. burning. That's what I smell. I smell, the, I smell the oil burning in it. Okay, we're good here. Let's go. Sure. Let's get a through bolt. Who's younger, you or me? I forget sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'll race you. Oh, you're gonna beat me anyway. I'll just stay up here. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That was pretty good, buddy. Definitely a lot of work here on this. I just, I know it's probably uh, not as cool as just going and flying these trusses up and getting this done, but I think spending a little bit of time, we're trying to get this all as good as possible because we've got a truss here that seems to be just slightly a different dimension. We took all of the difference out in the back. Nobody's gonna be back here except for me. Actually, I take that back. This truss is probably right. This one is maybe a little short. So they said they get a quarter inch allowance. That's their uh, tolerance. Dude, I thought Carl was gonna ask you, ask me like what my tolerance was. <laughs> that Long story, been we're not gonna get into it. That would've been pretty funny. Cause we've had a couple issues with tolerances on other people's trusses before. And that's why we go to Carl now. That was a staple. All right, so we got that girder truss up. It was an ordeal just because we needed to get everything nice and tight and right. Now we're gonna build this last end wall. This end wall is a little bit weird. We've got some odd bays. We've got a 10 foot garage door. There's gonna be an entire header on this at the top because all of these trusses are gonna sit on a header. No pockets like we normally do on all of our other trusses. So we're gonna get these columns made. We're gonna get this wall built. All that's kind of business as usual. And I think a nice little time lapse of this process and a little bit of B-roll will be good for this and then we'll get it stood up.
check it out guys this thing is finally starting to come together we've got our last wall section done so right here this was kind of a crazy wall not typical spacing we don't even have like a consistent header height over here because we've got that huge shed dormer that's going to go across this entire front so way up here this is where it's going to change heights and then that is that big 2x12 header up there is where the dormer is going to uh, go out and we're going to have three monster windows here i know those columns are kind of in the way now we actually did that on purpose we will header everything out cut window openings and then this right here top of that header is going to be the top of the ceiling and the trusses are going to sit on top of this girder truss so now i'm starting to really feel what this space is going to be like when you come in here you can see the 16 foot tall trusses that's what these guys are and then boom it jumps up into this 18 foot six space so yeah this shop is definitely not as tall not as wide actually it's it's got a little bit of taller than my old shop it's not as wide it's not as long but i'm just loving the dynamic the dimension the the difference that this shed brings shop i call it a shed it's it's much more than a shed but the difference that this thing brings compared to anything that we've ever built and i think it's just going to get cooler man so we're going to get back here tomorrow morning and we're going to work on those trusses that'll be a little bit of a challenge and we're going to try something new there too so definitely stick around